Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this kinetic type animation in Adobe After Effects. Now, I want to take a second and make a huge shout out to Pixrate for its amazing works. You can see more of his works in Instagram, the link is in the description. Now, on the first step, what we are going to do is that we are going to create this basic text animation. I have already made a video about how to create the letter morphing and the stretching animation and I will also put the link in the description. So let's start with making a new composition. I'm going to call it design and the width and height is set on 9020 and the duration is 4 seconds so let's hit ok. So I'm gonna go towards my type tool and I'm gonna write the word burnout. For the font I'm using Tusker Grotesque so I'm gonna change the font weight to medium and now I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to stretch it for like 190% and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards my align tab and I'm going to align it to the center something like this and also I'm going to stretch the distance between the, each letter to something like 20 so we have something like this and what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to duplicate this text and but first I'm going to rename this text to my main and then I'm going to duplicate this text and I'm going to call it bold and I'm going to change the font weight to 3800 super and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click on the text and I'm going to select create shapes from the text same as bold one and we're gonna delete this text so also let's stretch this text for 20% so it fills the white gap a bit more something like this and now I'm gonna use crazy shapes to set keyframes on my path property and if you follow my channel you know how much I love crazy shapes and motion tools pro so I'm going to press U to reveal the keyframes and I'm gonna copy the keyframes and on the main layer I'm going to select the first keyframes and I'm going to paste them in here. So I'll just hide it so we can see. So we'll have an animation like this. So what I'm going to do is that let's extend the timeline a bit so we can see. I'm going to select these keyframes and I'm going to go towards label. I will change color to yellow so we know it is from these set of keyframes. And then I'm going to delete the bold layer because we don't need it anymore. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make sure that the anchor point is set on middle. And I'm going to move towards two seconds. And I'm going to copy this set of keyframes again. But this time, however, I'm going to press S for the scale. And I'm going to set a keyframe exactly on here. And then I'm going to set this stretching to 75 is fine. And then on three seconds, I'm going to copy first set of path keyframes to bring back the text to its original weight. And lastly, I'm going to copy this scaling and on four seconds, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to finish the loop. So we will have an animation like this. Now on the next step, what we need to do is that I'm going to select the scale keyframes and I'm going to change the label to red one. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select every set of keyframes and I'm going to use the motion tools pro and I'm going to set the easings on 85%. Now what I'm going to do for the next step is that I'm going to select this layer and I'm going to use the motion tools to extract the letters inside of the main letter. And then I'm going to press the tilde key and then I'm going to create an offset for one frame on one second. Same as three seconds. So we have our main text design in here. Now it is time to move on towards the next step 
which is adding the sort of fire effect to our text. And to do that, we need to create a fire displacement effect along with texture and lastly a warp effect. But before we get to the effects part, it would be nice of you to hit that subscribe button if you have not already subscribed to the channel. Also please don't forget to leave out a like and comment and that helps me to beat the arch nemesis which is YouTube algorithm. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click on empty space in here and I'm going to select new composition and I'm going to call this one effects. So the width and height is fine and I'm going to bring down the text design into effects comp. Now what I need to do is that I'm going to create a displacement map for ourselves. To do that I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to call it displacement map. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a gradient ramp effect. I'm going to change the start to here and the end to here. Also, let's just change the colors a bit. So if you have a problem with time displacement and displacement map, I have a video where I explain everything in detail. You can watch it now. And now for the next effect, we are going to add the fractal noise effect for the fire displacement. So we need to tweak a few parameters in here. I'm going to change the type to dynamic. I'm going to set the contrast to 50 and I'm going to change the blending mode to overlay. Also, I'm going to go towards the transform panel and I will change the scale to 300. So we have our displacement map. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add the time displacement effect to the design layer and I'm going to set the time displacement layer to displacement map and I'm going to change the next parameter to effects and masks. And now we're going to hide this layer so we can see the effect. And now I'm going to change the max displacement time to 0.6. Alright, so we are getting the effect that we want. Now you can change the amount to whatever you like. So let's just tweak them a bit. Now what I'm going to do for the next step is that I'm going to add a chunky texture. I already explained how to do this kind of texture in detail in my latest video. You can watch that video now. So to do that I'm going to add a fastbox blur and I'm going to give it a bit blurriness and then I'm going to add a CC threshold effect. I'm going to change the threshold to a number such as 95 and I'm going to change the channel to alpha to get that chunky texture that we want. And lastly, to finish it, I'm going to add a warp effect and then I'm going to set the warp to vertical. I'm going to change the type to squeeze and then let's turn the amount to minus 25. So now we will have that warp effect that we want. Now on the next step, I'm going to add the time remapping effect to make sure that the animation loops on the long durations. And also that helps us to offset the keyframes better for the next step which I will show you in a second. And then I'm going to add the loop out expression. And on the next step I'm going to add the main comp. And I'm going to add the effects to the main comp. So now let's create a new background. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a fill and Gaussian blur effect. And then I'm going to duplicate these effects two more times. And then I'm going to change its colors like this. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards the effect composition and I'm going to copy this time remapping expression and I'm going to paste them for each composition in here. Now on the last step we will offset each composition by one frame. So we'll have an offset like this. So here's the final result. I hope you have enjoyed it. 
If you have a problem with making letter morphing and stretching text animation or time displacement effect, you can watch these two videos.